What is going on guys, Brian Nelson here, and I just got to check out a pretty cool piece of tech recently, and I wanted to share it with you because I think this is gonna be a game changer. It's gonna be big. You're gonna start seeing this everywhere. It's called the Rode Wireless Go, and these are wireless lavalier microphones. They're so incredibly light, small, and budget friendly, you're gonna start seeing these a lot more often, especially at trade shows, conferences, where there's a lot of interviews and very noisy environments kind of like what you're about to see. Just FYI, if you've already seen my NAB show about small tech, you've already seen this, but this is such a pretty cool piece of kit, I wanted to do a video just about the Rode Wireless Go. But what better way to learn about a product from the company rep himself? So I'm gonna let Ryan from Rode take it away. Let's hear what you got, Ryan. Hey guys, Ryan here from Rode Microphones, and we're at NAB 2019 at the B&H stand, and we're showing off the new Rode Wireless Go. Now this is the world's smallest professional belt pack transmitter receiver system, and it's so small that we've actually integrated the lav mic for the transmitter into the transmitter itself. For comparison, we're actually using a VideoMic Pro at the moment in the same environment to show you the difference between using a shotgun mic directly on camera or having a wireless system that's really close to the sound source. Now, often shotgun mics are used because they can cancel out the sounds from the sides of the microphone and pick up directly in front, but sometimes in nice, loud environments like this, the best mic to use is one that you can get really nice and close. So this is an omnidirectional lav versus a shotgun microphone sitting at a, a bit of a distance from you. Now this system here is what we're using right now for the audio to camera. I've got a secondary system in my hands here just to show you how it works. This is the transmitter unit with the lav on top, but it also has an external 3.5 mil input so that if you want to actually connect a wired lav, you can do that in the traditional belt pack transmitter sense. Now on the back, it's got a simple little clip here so you can clip it directly onto a shirt like this, or I can mount it just straight onto my belt and have a wired lav. The receiver unit here, is just as small, it weighs only 31 grams. This thing is tiny, so you can mount it on top of your camera, on top of gimbals, mobile rigs, anything like that. And it's got a really simple couple of settings. So you turn it on, it'll automatically pair up with the unit straight out of the box. You also have the option to set three different output levels. The full gain at zero dB, you can set it at minus six and minus 12. It's that simple, you don't need to know anything about setting up wireless systems to use this, but the nice thing is it's a really robust connection. For instance, we've got a rock solid connection right here, and we're in probably the worst environment to use a wireless system when we're at a trade show with all these different frequencies flying around. It operates in the license-free 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, meaning you can use it anywhere in the world, license-free, you don't have to worry about the frequency allocation. And it's got a dual antenna system internally, which gives it frequency diversity and antenna diversity. So what it means is it's a more solid connection so that you don't experience dropouts like you do with a lot of other wireless systems. To connect it to your camera, you can just plug into this output here on the receiver unit, the 3.5 mil jack cable that comes with it. Patch cable goes straight into the camera, just like the rig we're using for this video. And you can actually charge the inbuilt lithium batteries using a USB-C cable. Now it comes with two USB-C to A cables in the box. You can charge them up in about two hours. They'll run for about seven hours on one single charge. And the nice thing is you can even power them constantly with an external battery pack. So if you had a rig that you wanted to run, you know, for a really long shoot, and you had even a, a little you know, transmitter mounted on the belt with the wired lav instead of directly on the shirt, you can power them indefinitely just over USB-C. The whole system runs at 199 US dollars and you can pre-order it right now. Now that is really cool. I'm super excited about this. I just can't get over the size of these things. I mean, they're like each unit is just about the size of a couple of matchbooks like stacked together. They're like, about the same size as half of this remote for my aperture lights. They're so tiny, I don't know how they did this. Rechargeable batteries, and I don't know if you noticed there in the B-roll, this was later in the day, so they had been on all day doing demos, and it looked like it still had about 70, 80% battery charge on those. I mean, how can you go wrong with these things? They're $200, they're super tiny, you can just throw them in your bag, not even worry about them, they barely take up any space. They sound great, especially in this really noisy environment. I mean, you heard the difference between the shotgun mic and the lavalier mic. This is gonna be a game changer for vloggers, for budget filmmakers, for people who do interviews, even on the street interviews. It's, it's gonna be nothing to walk up, clip that to somebody's shirt, jacket, tie, whatever they're wearing, and just get a quick interview with them. Just 
awesome piece of kit. Pretty excited about this one. So go ahead and check them out. I'll drop a link down in the description below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys would use these for. I always like to know what different situations gear gets put into. It does help me better understand how to do review videos. If I know more situations this gear gets put into, helps me out. So help me out. Hopefully I'm helping you out. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button down there if you wanna see more of this, and I will see you guys next time.